Cool. Hello, everyone. Hi. For those who don't know, Connie is all the way in New York, and I'm all the way in LA. <laughs> uh, we might coast. be matching weathers right now. Which happens from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> Very rarely. Um, yeah, totally. All right. Yeah. So you wanted to talk a little bit about um, kind of what we have going on and advertise um, our archetype work which we haven't really kind of yeah. talked about we haven't talked about it at all in not much in our lives or in our youtube just in our vision statement workshops and i thought we need to because june is our promotion for a hundred dollars off on this awesome awesome series of workshops it's gonna um, be fantastic i know i'm so excited me too <laughs> i'm so excited for it um, so I figured we should, you know, share it with people. Um, and so it's going to be a three series workshop right now. It's three levels. Um, and it's going to start in July and it's, so it's going to be July, August, and September. And July is level one and August is level two and September is level three yeah. and level one is your inner guardians. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's gonna be, the focus is archetypes. So the inner guardians, the archetypes are the victim, the prostitute, and the saboteur. And for those who don't know about the archetypes, um, basically it's, they're, they're a group of energy patterns that are with us in each lifetime to support us in the choices we make, in the way we live our lives. Um, for an, as an example, the rebel is an energy pattern that's an archetype. So how, I think we both have rebels, right? No, how, you, you have, you oh, have you don't. rebel. Yeah, no, oh. you have rebel. <laughs> I, I, like, I could, I mean, obviously, like, the archetypes in some ways, like, there was definitely a circumstance where the rebel was present where I was like leaning on that archetype mm -hmm. a little bit, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, no, I have, I have storyteller and I have, um, let's see, I have a uh, divine child. I have mother. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of a couple other ones. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute since I've looked at my chart. Well, the, so with each of these energy patterns, with each of these archetypes, we are living, um, we're living them out, right? We're expressing them in everything that we're doing, in our relationships, in our work, in the way that we interact with random people in the street, or the way that we are um, doing social justice work, or whatever it is that we're doing. We're actively showing up as these patterns and either like and sometimes we're showing up in they're, they're showing up in, in from like a subconscious point of view and a subconscious uh -huh. place because conscious awareness hasn't been kind of brought to that particular energetic pattern yet in in somebody's life and so that's part of um why we designed and wrote this archetype workshop was to kind of help people get to know their archetypes and begin to get a better understanding and bring their subconscious awareness into their yes. conscious awareness. Yes, yes. The more aware we are, the more things make sense. Um, you know, it's like we live our lives and a lot of things kind of happen to us. Like we'll notice that like this thing is happening over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Why, why is this happening? And there is a possible why behind it. You know, there's no answer for everything. Some things seem very um, unanswerable, but I think there's a lesson behind everything. There's a purpose behind everything. There's something we can pull out um, from every experience. Well, and I so think, I think the recognizing of the patterns is kind of like the first piece of it. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like recognizing the patterns and as they're playing out in, in your life. And then when you're kind of getting on the same merry-go-round ride again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm. um, so 
Um, all right. So we talked about level level one. Level two Wait, so level is level one is the three main guardian the three main guardians which we all share. So the prostitute, the victim, and the saboteur, which is the guardian of faith, guardian of self esteem, and guardian of choice. So we all have those archetypes. Mm -hmm. And the whole two hour workshop is going to focus on those. Um, and then, okay, so now level two. Is... Level two is the, is the children. Uh -huh. um, and so there's, there's six, right? Six, six, six main children. Ones. Right. Yeah. And they can vary. I mean, we are working with the Caroline Mace archetype cards, but I've seen you know I've read some charts for people and like all of a sudden a completely new thing will pop up that's not in the cards right. so yeah but and in the cards that we use there's six kids six kids six children six children six, six children. kids running around uh -huh. um and usually everybody has one child uh -huh. and occasionally uh -huh. occasionally you'll see two show up uh -huh. um in, in somebody's chart so yeah. that's a good thing. That's a good thing to know because I feel like with the children, like when I started working with my inner child, which I have divine child, um, that's the one that you and I have in common. We both have divine child mm -hmm. and uh, it, like recognizing like the sensitivity of the divine child and also like the, the knowledge, like yeah. the things that you would just know and be aware of. And you're, there's like, you know, you were too young to know that or, you know, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And I think learning to work with the children and identifying what the children's needs are and where they need support and how to be like gentle. And, and sometimes it's that thing of re, like reparenting yourself mm -hmm. through your, through your child archetype. Yeah, that's that's something that um, was was very helpful for me. Yeah, de definitely, definitely. So the, that's going to be the second level. The third level is going to be learning the chart itself. So looking at the additional archetypes on the chart, um, the, their pl placements and their interactions with each other. So this is more like the the best example i can give is with astrology so for people who are very familiar with their astro astrological chart um you've already tapped into understanding maybe the chart you, you know you're rising you know your moon you know your sun mm -hmm. um this is this is similar um it gives us a new language to play with and work with it gives us more tools it's like if you're into astrology it's kind of like you've been painting with watercolors and now I'm bringing you like oil. So it's like, you're still <laughs> painting. You're still like playing the same, like you're doing the same art, but you have a different like modality to use now. Yeah. Different yeah. And, tools. and you can get to like, a, you know, you, you can get to a greater depth in, in some ways. Um, I love that analogy. That's really, that's a great analogy. Uh, I think the other thing that's really awesome that's going to be in level three is, you know, once you know where particular archetypes kind of fall in your chart, you know, I've had the experience where it's like certain archetypes, like, you know, wh whoever's in my 11th house is working with whoever's in my fourth house mm -hmm. and they're kind of like buddied up. And so those energy patterns are working together. And then when you can identify those and begin to like support those archetypes, and have them collaborate in a more effective way. It's, um, you know, it's it's really it creates more of it's a so cool. smooth ride. It's like it's like, so cool. I'll give an example. I'll give a personal okay. example. So, like for me, I have mother and I have rebel. We've mentioned both of those already, but we like in the past year with my daughter, you know, going through the teenage phase and the difficulties of that. I had merged, I, I had to merge both of those archetypes together to be their rebellious mother in terms of what would it be like if <laughs> I had a relationship, a working relationship with my daughter, mm -hmm. you know, because it's such a common pattern to 
fight with your teams and to not understand each other and to to have these like butting heads situations so that was when i had to combine both of those archetypes to work together mm -hmm. yeah no and and not only to change the pattern within yourself but also then like it, the ripple effect into into your life and into your relationships so yeah, yeah so ultimately the the three levels of the archetype workshop i think are going to be really really helpful for folks uh give an insight especially into like the level one the you know the victim the saboteur um and what am i missing i'm missing one that guardian of self-esteem right so like having those oh prostitute prostitute, prostitute, prostitute right, guardian prostitute, of faith. right having those all work together because we all have those so it's like mm -hmm. you once you get an understanding of of those three it's like then you may recognize someone else's prostitute or somebody else's victim or somebody else's yeah. saboteur and then how you can respond to that uh can you know can increase the this the harmony the smoothness the yes. the love and compassion that you're interacting with with others and and not only yourself so yes yes those three like very basic archetypes there they can make such a difference in our lives when we're we bring them into awareness mm -hmm. um you know with how we interact with others totally totally like usually we'll connect through victimhood right like immediate like pain and sorrow and you know caroline mace calls it um wound all woundology <laughs> right like we connect based on our first chakra wounds mm -hmm. like and uh, when we meet somebody new or whatever and so yeah just coming out of that victim place if you need to um learning to have faith learning what that means when did you lose your fate what parts of yourself are you selling out because you're afraid mm -hmm. um where are you struggling with the choices that you're making are you even aware of the choices you're making right 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 <laughs> Right. And they're so like they, the three of them work together so amazingly because to make to be able to make conscious decisions, we have to have faith. Right. And if we're feeling victimized, then the choices we're making are not going to be coming from a place of confidence and then and knowing that something else bigger than ourselves has our back. And then right? so it's like also then oh, that perpetuates the cycle over and over again. Yes. Yeah yes so yeah awesome amazing yeah so so yeah we have so those yeah that's those are coming, coming up, up. <laughs> we have if you're interested two. send us a message we'll send you a link with all the information that goes into details um we'll be happy to answer any of your questions um yeah yeah and in the link tree you'll find the link to not only the vision statement workshop but also the archetype workshop, um, you know, sign up sheet. And we have a vision statement workshop coming up this Thursday, which is mm -hmm. going to be during the day. And then we have one coming up on Sunday, the 25th. So um, hopefully, and the, the vision statement workshops are free um, and they are 90 minutes in length. And mm -hmm. the archetype workshops are going to be two hours in length. Yeah. So. Yep. Cool. So we hope to see you at one of those, if not at both. And if not, you know, maybe check out check a out our session or yeah, right check out there. our YouTube. Check out our life talk videos. We've got mm -hmm. some we've got some really great videos up there with a lot of um, diversity of content. So, all right, I'm losing light. I can see that I'm losing light. Okay. Yeah, I can <laughs> see it too. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>